Hello everyone. Welcome to Babies in the Library. My name is Brooke Newberry and I'm going to be your instructor for the next six weeks. I am so excited for this course. I currently am the collaborative consultant for a library system in western Wisconsin and we serve 34 member libraries. And before this position, I was the early literacy librarian in La Crosse Public Library. Um, at La Crosse, Wisconsin for five years. And before that, I worked with all ages as a youth librarian in Virginia. Um, and during my time in Virginia working with all ages, I quickly realized that working with young children, specifically ages zero to five, was something I was very passionate about. And once I found the early literacy position in La Crosse, I felt like I had found my calling. And now in my role as a consultant, I can help our member libraries provide the best services for both youth and adults. However, the early literacy crowd is still where my heart lies. So I'm going to briefly just go over a few pieces of the syllabus just to make sure we're all on the same page. This is an asynchronous course, which means you can work on this at your own schedule. I'll open up each week's module on Saturday or Sunday, and the module will stay open until the following Sunday. So during this time, You'll be expected to accomplish the weekly readings, listen to the lecture, and post in the discussion board. Listening to the lecture and reviewing the readings is vital for a healthy discussion board. Um, some of the readings will be related to the lecture, but some of them are just things that I think are really important, and I just didn't have enough time to cover them in the week's lecture. The lectures will be slide decks that you can access, um, and I'll have a narration with all of them. And then I also have a script available for each week if you would rather read along with the slides. The discussion boards will be where a lot of the learning and interacting happens. Each week you will have different prompts to choose from. And since the class is so full, I'm asking everyone to limit themselves to posting no more than four times each week. At minimum, I need everyone to respond to a prompt um, that I give you and interact with at least one classmate. Um, and I'm not asking for essays here or master level writing, but please don't simply put, I agree, or yeah, me too. Um, you can say that, but then go on to say things that you would do differently, things that you learned, etc. Please do not post more than four times a week. The discussion boards can quickly become overwhelming with such a large class. And if you need to ask further questions about something a classmate has posted, feel free to message them personally. I want the discussion boards to be as meaningful as possible for everyone. There will be a special discussion thread you can access called Hive Mind, and this is where you can go if you have additional questions that you would like to pose to the group as a whole. It can be whatever you want to talk about, um, whether it's issues in story times, best toys to purchase, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> and posting in there does not count towards your four week, uh, four times a week limit. Um, and you're also not expected to read every post in there. So think of it almost as a mini storytime underground that's dedicated to babies. <laughs> and then our final project is listed in the syllabus. I have given three different options, but if you are already doing all three of those things, or if you have a different idea, please just email me and we can figure something out. My hope is that everyone will leave with a final project that's useful to them in their library work. I'm available through email and I'll respond to you within 24 hours with the exception of weekends. If you have any questions or concerns, please just send me an email and we'll figure it out. I expect everyone to spend around two or three hours a week on this course. If you find yourself being overwhelmed, you can always reach out to me or to Meredith Lowe or Anna Palmer to discuss your options. Meredith and Anna work for UW-Madison's iSchool and their contact information can be found online. And then finally, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone for signing up for this course. I am so honored you chose to spend the next six weeks with me. You obviously care greatly about serving all ages in your library, and I'm so excited to work with you. Even if a manager is making you take this course and you're not super interested, I hope I can change your mind by the end of the course. Working with babies and their caregivers has brought me such joy and satisfaction into my career, and I really hope I can pass some of that along to you as well. Okay, I think that's all. Again, I am so, so excited to begin the course with you. Thank you for signing up. Thank you for trusting me to lead you in this fabulous area of library work. And thank you for giving up some of your precious time to become more knowledgeable about serving our youngest patrons and their families. So let's get started.